Alright, hello everyone. We're going to learn how to determine an experimental melting range. So we're going to use our uh, digital melting point apparatus. So I'm going to plug it in. And there are written instructions for how to use this instrument uh, next to it. So here's my solid compound. Um, what I need to do is prepare a sample of it. So you're going to take one of these glass capillary tubes, right? One end is closed, right? So this end here is closed and the top is open. So I'm going to take the open end and dip it into my sample. Right, and now I'm going to turn it so that the closed end is at the bottom and tap it. Right, and now everything has gone to the bottom. Right, so you just need a very small amount. This is about half a centimeter, right? So you want half a centimeter in height or less, ideally less. So as long as you can see it right here in the tube, you can see it melt, it's enough. So I'm gonna turn on my apparatus on button. Right, it says idle right now. Zoom in a little bit. Okay, I have my sample here and you want to, with the closed end, put the closed end into the instrument. So there are um, about six different slots. Just put your sample in so that it fits in gently in one of them. Right, right now, um, nothing is heating. If we want to heat, we can press run and that will start um, the temperature increasing. Right, so we can increase it very slowly or we could increase it much faster. I happen to know what my expected melting point is. Right, so this should melt around 135 degrees Celsius. So I can have this go a little faster. I just press the faster button. Right, right now uh, it's running as fast as it can go. And the screen says running fast. Right, it's increasing. Since I know where I should be melting, I'm just going to let it run up until it gets close, say 110 degrees Celsius. Okay, I'm getting close, so I'm going to press slower, slower, slower. All right, so now I'm down to three degrees per minute. So if you look through this eyepiece here, you can see your compound. So there it is, right by my fingertip. And then you literally just wait until it melts. So again, right above my fingertip here. Now we have a better view and I'm going to increase this to six degrees per minute. Right, again, I'm expecting this to melt around 135 degrees. We are currently at 120 degrees. Okay, we are approaching the expected melting point. 
Oh, and we can see it's starting to, to melt. All right, so it started at about 133 degrees Celsius. And then we're going to look for the temperature where all of the solid has completely melted. So the solid is still present. I still see some solid. Still a solid chunk in there. Okay, and now everything is fully melted. So my melting range is 133 to 138 degrees Celsius. It was a pretty wide melting range. I think that's because there was too much sample inside of the tube. All right, but there it is. It's melted. Well, we took it out, now it's going to start to re-solidify. Right. But we're done with it. We got our experimental melting range. Right When you're finished, right, there's going to be a place to put your used glass tubes. Right, We're done with this, so we can press run. And then it'll say idle. That means it's going to cool down. And then that's it. Just let it cool down so that the next person can use it. And that's how you take an experimental melting range.